staff, like a stick, but with the basalt columns and the lines that run down through the island, then you can see why it's been called so. The smaller cave, by the smooth rock there, is called the boat cave. Just with this wee bit of motion today, normally we would spend a bit of time spinning the boat round in the cave, but I think we're just going to keep heading round to the landing place and we'll just get you ashore. And that's Fingal's Cave that you're looking into there just now. Fingal's Cave is 66 feet high to centres and extends back into the island by 240 feet. That's about 20 metres high and 80 metres deep. Now the cave is named after the legendary Irish giant Fingal. And he first came to prominence in James McPherson, who was the Gaelic scholar. His poems about Fingal and his son Ocean. And they were first published in 1762. The people, then they'll start to circle around in the air and then they will eventually come ashore for you. But you do have to be very, very patient and nice and still sitting up round the edge of the cliff there. Any jackets or bags that you don't want to take ashore with you, you're more than welcome to leave on board the boat. And if we could have you all back and forth for leaving at quarter past four. At quarter past four. That's plenty of time to go on to the cave and to go up and see the puffins if you wish. But we'll see you all again for leaving at quarter past four. Thank you.